When you teleport from the Welcome Center, this is where you will arrive. This is the park entrance for Glacier National Park in Sign Space. You'll notice that there is a park map. All of the red dots are teleport locations. You can teleport to any of these red dots if you find the appropriate brown and white text sign here. Some of them are highlighted with pictorial teleport images. On the left is the historic Red Bus, which is a, the park is a national landmark and these buses in real life tour the park, Glacier National Park, and they are also automated. For our purposes, we are going to the Beaver Trail. The teleport entry for the Beaver Trail is this way. It's important not to walk through any of these signs or you'll be instantly teleported. If you are instantly teleported to where you don't want to go, look for one of these blue globes up there in the center of the screen. And if you click that, it will bring you right back here to the park entrance, which has this stone arch. We will be going to the Blackfeet Nation, which is uh, part of the Beaver Trail tour. But we will start on the trailhead. To get to the trailhead, we walk over here to the side where these fences have been placed to funnel us to the correct place. And you simply walk straight ahead into the sign. And we are now at the Beaver Trail Trailhead. Without any movement, let's take a look at what's available here. As we mentioned, on the left-hand side is a blue globe. And if you wanted to return to the park entrance, you would walk through that blue globe, blue globe and you would be back there. There is a fork here. We will be taking the right-hand fork. You will notice that we are in a pine forest. This is a natural recreation of what it actually looks like in Glacier National Park. Deer with antlers and regular deer. Now before we go further, we do have the option in our graphic settings to go to high quality. So for our purposes, we will go ahead and put it at the highest possible quality. The difference that this makes is primarily what you can see in the distance. For example, let's see if we can show you. It'll become more evident later, but right over there on the right, there's kind of a distant mountaintop. If we set it back to medium or even fast, there, you'll see that at fast, we kind of lose the mountain in the background. It's still there, it's just that we can't see it. If we go to the medium quality, it comes right back in, and at the quality quality, you get a little fine extra detail. It's your option. With this viewer, when you first load it, it will automatically set your graphics to what it thinks your computer can handle. But you can always raise it higher. Okay, we'll turn our interface off. And again, you can see the pine forest, um, the foliage on the ground, the, the uh, shrubbery. Um, Glacier is home to something like 1,000 native plant species, and it is also a uh, bio reserve. So we're taking the right trail here to the beaver pond, and we're going to walk to emphasize the feel of the space of this recreation of the real life park. <clears throat> all wildlife, all plant life is native to the region. Uh, you can see the red and the orange plant life here. Some of this plant life is based on pictures taken by the creator who lives in Montana where Glacier Park is. Some of it is downloaded from him, <coughs> excuse me, from other sites. Similarly, the wildlife, some of these are pictures by the creator and some are from uh, 
web resources. All are native to the park proper. The trail is marked by this uh, dark brown path. You notice the pine cones, the little squirrel on the ground here, true to life. Uh, various types of fir trees on the left and the right, some young, some old. These trees are actually placed individually by the creator, the creator of the region. And we could take a look around again and feel what it's like to be in a forest with landscape terrain. There's another kind of tree up there, more of a, I think that's a deciduous tree. Some of these are naturally occurring uh, copses of the same kind of tree, and then they change to other types of tree. We'll see another kind of forest coming up. I don't know all the names of these things. I think that's goldenrod or something like it. I don't know what the red is. Some of you on the tour probably know what they are. Pipe up and tell the rest of us what you recognize. It's the yellow. Watch out for the branch. We did say it was true to life. Now, as we come ahead of us, don't be alarmed, but there is a, a wildlife example walking in front of us. This is a fully antlered moose. This is uh, two of them, as a matter of fact. These are fully 3D rendered animated critters. These are native to the park. And also more deer in the distance. We'll just let them be. Uh, if they'll let us be. I always think of a horse when I look at the face of the moose. Now, one of the designer of the region's goals, who lives only 17 miles from the real life park entrance, was to recreate the feeling of immense space. By the way, here's a birch forest. You can see this, we've totally changed, even without thinking about it, from the pine into this natural copse of birch, which apparently the deer like quite a lot. Glacier Park itself is composed of two separate mountain ranges, part of the Rockies, and it's named after, obviously, the glaciers. You can see some more wildlife on the left, the turkeys. Now we're coming through here to the reason this is called the Beaver Trail. Uh, you're welcome to climb up the rocks if you like on the side. You can do that with your avatars here. If you want to run, just hold down your shift key and you'll go a little bit faster. But don't forget to press the right and left arrow to uh, keep you from running into things. Ahead of us, you will see a beaver lodge. And before we forget, there again is one of the ubiquitous blue globes. So if you wanted here, had to get back to the park entrance, you could just walk through that globe. Here, now that we're coming into the meadow wet area, you'll see that the foliage changes to this darker fern-like looking Here's another animated wildlife, the beaver. You can see the beaver have been active. They've been gnawing the trees here to build their lodge. And you can see that the, the pond itself has swimming beaver. And uh, I guess I call those cattails. We can run ahead here and if we feel like it, excuse us. Mr. Beaver, may we look inside your lodging? We can certainly walk through the pond. It's not too deep. We are wearing our boots. And it's uh, pretty sparse furnishings in here. As I recall in Beaver lore, the, there's actually a pile of roots underneath that are actually the food source. 
So we want to continue on the Beaver Trail. Now we're going to go towards what we mentioned is the other main highlight, the Black Feet Indian Reservation. So here the trail branches off to the left. We'll go this way. And again, notice in the distance the trees silhouetted against the sunrise. Um, here you really can see some of the peaks. This is why it's called Glacier National Park. If you were to go to other parts of this park, you, there is the Going to the Sun Road, which climbs all the way up to Logan Pass, which is crosses into Canada. Waterton Park is the parallel park to Glacier on the Canadian side in Alberta. Where the smoke is up on the left is the Blackfeet Indian Reservation. We'll walk along here enjoying the scenic view, the quite stark terrain. For those that have been to Glacier Park in real life, and on going to the Sun Road, let me just say it is a heart-stopping ride looking over the side on sheer drops, which you can experience here. You can take a drive on going to the Sun Road or walk. It takes approximately 45 minutes to go from one end of this recreation of Glacier National Park to the other, driving. And unless you have a, a plane to res here, the teleport system is recommended. As you can see, there's just tremendous, tremendous breadth here. There's the back of the lodge over there. Recommend, if you don't, are not in a tour group, to go with a friend and then talk to each other along the way and just soak in the beauty and the ambience while you talk. All right, we will see if we can carefully scoot ahead here without losing the trail. Oh, there's a field of, I would call, I would call them blue bonnets. I'm told that there are other wildlife here. Let's see them as we get closer. Now, these pillars here are actually the territory markers of where the Blackfeet Reservation uh, property begins. And these are true to life. There are actual uh, boundary markers in the real life park. Uh, Blackfeet is in the northeast part of the park. This is some fish grilling for supper later on. There's another of the blue globes. And we scoot on ahead here. I do believe I see a herd of buffalo in the far distance. Now a field of goldenrod. I hope you have your allergy pills handy if you're allergic. And the salt and the small short pines growing here. And of course you can see the pines growing all the way up here until they hit the tree line. This is one of the newest parts of the park, the Blackfeet Indian Reservation. And just as there were boundary markers for the territory, there's kind of a gate, an informal gate here to go into the encampment itself. The totem pole is a recreation of a real life totem pole that the designer has actually in their uh, real life location. On the left hand side, we can walk into one of the TPs. I'm told that these colorful patterns are actually used by the Blackfeet. 
Um, we don't have the interface showing. If we show that temporarily, you could see that you can actually take a rest here. We'll keep on going. Some other features of this reservation are recreation. Or an Indian chapel here on the left with a kind of a meditation painting. Again, there's an animation here available. There is uh, what I would call a here are the gourds, pumpkins, vase, and whoops, there goes an eagle. Again, rendered in 3D. Up oh, there are some buffalo. There are the buffalo. Um, a lodge here. You can see up here the uh, spirit catchers. I would call this a sweat lodge, I guess. So this completes the tour. You are welcome to walk around and look at the things and enjoy them on your own. For those that would enjoy a traditional rite, you can click one of these animations and walk around the campfire. So as we leave ourselves socializing in a circle, we will pull back from the scene here. And invite you to make your own journey to Glacier National Park in Science Space.